Ryan Garcia has just found himself in a ton of trouble once again. Ryan Garcia is just coming off of that boxing match with Devin Haney where he won against Devin Haney and now all of a sudden there's tons of controversies around that fight including failed drug tests, maybe even an IV usage. Around this fight there was so much drama before and we thought it was going to end on April 20th but now it is still going. And I'm going to break down all of this. Why are we not going to see Ryan Garcia fight for another year if not more? What is real? What is not? There's a lot of misinformation being spread and I'm here to break it all down. I looked through it and now I'm going to report back to you guys. And before we get into this guys, I want to you guys to subscribe on that comment and share guys. We're almost at 13k. You guys have been killing it with the support. Make sure to hit the notification bell guys. I know a lot of you guys always ask me for my UFC fight night picks. This weekend is UFC Saudi Arabia. Unfortunately, a lot of these fight nights don't have enough hype to have a video of their own, but I am going to be posting my picks in the Discord server in the link in the description. Go click that right there. Join the Discord server and I will be talking during the fight. I will be texting you guys and you guys will know my thoughts right away. And it's a good card too, so go make sure you guys click it there for exclusive stuff as well as just chats in general. But let's get into this drama with Ryan Garcia because I know that's what a lot of you guys are here for. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, as I said, took place April 20th and this was one of the weirdest buildups ever to a fight. Ryan Garcia was acting so strange on Twitter, just, you know, posting random things. So much so that even I thought the fight should be canceled and I thought there was no way Ryan Garcia was going to win this fight. However, Ryan Garcia did surprise all of us and not only beat Devin Haney, but did it rather convincingly, knocking him down multiple times and hurting him. And Ryan Garcia won the fight, although he did miss weight the day before, which we're going to get back into. However, as a few weeks went by, we got word that Ryan Garcia did actually test positive for a banned substance known as Osterine. He tested positive for this the day of and the day before the fight, leading to Ryan Garcia not only missing weight by over three pounds, but him coming in with a banned substance. Now, I can't speculate if this was an accident from Ryan Garcia, if his supplements were tainted. Regardless, he did have an unfair advantage in both ways. And while I do see a lot of people defending Ryan Garcia, especially with the weight situation, saying, well, Devin Haney shouldn't have agreed to that weight, that is a thousand percent true. And I'm not even here to criticize Ryan Garcia for that, because at the end of the day, yes, Devin Haney did actually accept this weight. But I also don't think that this automatically makes the fight fair in any way. You can't deny that at the end of the day, Devin Haney cut more weight than Ryan Garcia. And whether, yeah, Devin Haney thought that he could just, you know, give away his money and still win the fight, that's on him. But it still isn't fair. And you guys can't continue to say it's fair. It's not fair. Devin Haney he made the choice to go into the fight handicap and that's his fault and he paid for it. But I just want to make a distinction. I'm not going to crucify Ryan Garcia for missing weight just because Devin Haney agreed to it. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and say that automatically makes the fight fair somehow. But regardless, we saw Ryan Sample A test positive for Austrian and then we waited for Sample B and of course that also tested positive. Now we've been in this limbo kind of waiting to see what's the result. Will Ryan Garcia get suspended? Will he get fined? Will this win turn into a disqualification? And I got to say, this is definitely one of the more frustrating things I have seen in recent combat sports because there is a lot of casuals, let's be honest, looking at this fight and watching this fight. They don't understand really the difference between PEDs. They don't understand what weight cutting does. There's a lot of people defending Ryan Garcia. And look, while I was rooting for Ryan Garcia going into the Devin Haney fight, and I was happy that he did win, at the end of the day, you can't just let this slide, right? Because then anybody could just be let slide, right? Any superstar could just go on with steroids and it's like nobody even cares. So what's the consequence? Ryan Garcia absolutely should have this win taken away. And that is my stance on it from the get-go. But we actually finally have his punishment. Let's just break down his punishment. Let's see if it's fair. I'm going to break down every single result. First things first, Ryan Garcia is forced to forfeit his whole purse to Golden Boy, and his disclosed purse is $1.2 million. So this is obviously, I think, a lot lower than a lot of people would expect, but of course, this is just a disclosed purse, right? There's obviously a lot more money that he does get. This is just kind of what is told. We see this in UFC all the time where we see people, you know, kind of paid very low amounts. Now, look, I'm not saying fighter pay is perfect in the UFC at all, but guys, those are not the real purses at all. Those are just what is disclosed to the public. Of course, you are going to make a lot more. That's only a percentage of it. So this 1.2 million is not all Ryan Garcia got paid. This is just a certain part of it, what was disclosed to the public. But most importantly, the fight did get changed to a no contest. Now, this is a big deal. This was not a disqualification, which a lot of people were pushing for. A disqualification versus a no contest. What is the difference? Well, no contest means that it's just kind of like a draw, like nothing happened. However, if this fight was ruled a disqualification, that means Devin Haney would not only not lose this fight, but he would actually win the fight. So it's a big W for Ryan because Ryan would have had another loss on his record. And overall, I do think that it's the right decision not to have this disqualification. Let's just make this a no contest and hopefully we could run this back at some point. Ryan also got fined separately $10,000 from the New York State Athletic Commission. The biggest drop of this whole thing is that Ryan Garcia did get suspended, but it wasn't as long as some people have in the past. He got suspended for a year, which means he can come back, I believe, April 20th of 2025, which it does sound like that is bad, but I don't think this is the worst thing. We've seen guys like Amir Khan banned for two years and even longer. Like even if you look at the Diaz brothers, right? Nick Diaz was banned for smoking weed. There's been more ridiculous bans and while, yes, a year does suck, it absolutely could be worse, especially with all the stuff Ryan Garcia did with missing weight, and of course, with the PED stuff. Now, before I move on, I do want to bring up this piece of perhaps misinformation. There is a rumor that I have seen
seen online that Ryan Garcia used an IV during his weight cut. Now, what that means is, look, when you cut weight and all of that, instead of just drinking water normally, what he allegedly did in this case was put an IV into his body to get water that way so he'd rehydrate a lot faster. Now, this is illegal in combat sports. We've seen guys like Islam Akachev accused of doing this in the past, but outside of that, I mean, there really isn't that many accusations of this. I've heard that there's video of this. Some people say it's been included in the articles. Guys, at the end of the day, no one else has reported on this. I've only seen like really one TikTok guy report on this. So I do think that this might be some misinformation. That's just a rumor. I think it sparked all the way back in May when someone claimed they had a video of him using an IV, but there's absolutely no proof of this. So you got to be honest and say, look, he didn't do the IV, but he did everything else in the book. So, so yeah, Ryan Garcia overall lost about over a million dollars as well as gotten this loss taken away. I don't think this is really that big of a punishment, guys. Look, does it suck that he's suspended for a year? Yeah, it does. However, I think this only makes a Devin Haney rematch a lot bigger. I think that is the fight to make, but I want to get into that and some of Ryan Garcia's options in a little bit, but I want to talk about both of their reactions. Devin Haney went on Twitter celebrating, which I have defended Devin Haney a lot, and I think Devin Haney has gotten a lot of unnecessary hate in this situation. Devin Haney didn't do any cheating, right? Devin Haney did what he was supposed to, showed up to the fight, got to the weight that he had to, and followed all the rules, and yes, came up short, and he lost. Some people just don't have a good night, and we don't know. Maybe, you know, Devin Haney goes out there, makes adjustments, and is able to win the next fight. Maybe he underestimated Ryan Garcia like basically everybody did. And I'm not saying I think necessarily that Devin Haney is a lock to win the next fight. I'm not even sure if I'm going to pick him. But all I'm trying to say, guys, is that we got to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because he did not cheat in this situation. Ryan did. So I have defended him a lot. I do have my limits. And I think that celebrating this is just kind of cringe and stupid. At the end of the day, you lost the fight and treat it as such. Look, I understand putting out a statement saying you feel like it should be a no contest and advocating for that. That is totally fair. But to then just celebrate as if you won and post things like, oh, where are the people saying that I should change my bio to 31 and 1 now? It just seems like you're grasping at straws trying to find a win in this whole situation when, let's be honest, Devin Haney took the biggest L out of this situation. So although I do feel for Devin Haney and I do support Devin Haney and I do like him, I got to admit that this is a little cringe and a little too far. So I do not support the whole celebrating. I think you should probably be a little more humble about it. Say, look, at the end of the day, I did lose and I'm trying to make adjustments and kind of still treat it as a loss, but also acknowledge that Ryan did go into the fight cheating and say, yeah, look, I got to make adjustments and that's just true. However, Ryan Garcia has reacted exactly how you would expect him to by posting jokes on social media and just not taking this serious at all. Posting things like, y'all never went through what I've been through. I'm innocent. You don't know what I'm feeling. I've been fighting since I was seven. Someone cheated me. Other tweets like, someone tell Devil Haney to give me my money back for the weight allowance for a fight that now never happened. Ryan Garcia also posted, they shut off my lights at my home. That's crazy. And finally, if there is not a fight anymore, then Barclay needs to give everyone their money back. Pay-per-view buys need to be reverted to. Look, at the end of the day, we can't expect Ryan Garcia to treat anything serious anymore. But look, Ryan Garcia is suspended for a year. And look, it isn't that long of a time. At this point, it is now like 10 months or so, which is just basically a long layoff for a fighter. Like, yeah, it's long, but it will survive. I think the obvious next move is as soon as you can, make that fight with Devin Haney, rebook that fight, you know, make it a rematch. And I think the fight is even bigger now. There's going to be even more batter blood because Ryan Garcia beat Devin Haney, but Devin Haney is going to say, oh, well, you cheated in the fight. And they're going to go back and forth. I think the only other fight that makes sense to do is a fight with Gervonta Davis. Now, Gervonta Davis had a great win against Frank Martin last weekend, and I gotta say, he looked good in that fight. I think the move is Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney, and the winner of that fight fights Gervonta Davis finally. I would love to see a rematch with Ryan Garcia at a proper weight, at a fair weight, where both guys are at equal advantage. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and check out my last video where I talked about Jake Paul's fight against Mike Perry coming up, the big boxing match on July 20th. I also made a video talking about Logan Paul suing Ryan Garcia. Go check that out as well. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best fan base in MMA. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.